All right, we're here with Patsy Morris after Cornerstone Women's Volleyball just won their 23rd match in a row for the longest win streak since 1999. They did that last night against rival Aquinas. Uh, you and Liv are both going to get interviewed today. Um, just want to talk just about this run uh, and how this team has been going. So uh, you guys have been starters really from day one, and now you're in your senior year, again, winning 23 in a row. What really has been the difference this year that's led to the success of this team? I think a difference in this year is just um, us seniors leading is just like a confidence boost in us and I just feel like we're comfortable with it and I feel that the rest of our team feels that and um, we're just all really close together and team bonding wise um, we just love hanging out having fun and I feel like we show that out in the court. All right now we're here with Olivia Keelan. Liv I just wanted to ask kind of going along with that win streak when we talked to Patsy um, one thing that's been mentioned a couple times, whether it's by your coach or just fellow players, was you guys started the season in Montana, played really, really tough competition, um, and started the season 0-3. One of those matches was against Jamestown, uh, who's won the national title before. They're obviously a powerhouse within the NAI. Uh, and their coach came, after you, came up to you guys after the game just to tell you guys that you're a lot better than you think you are. Um, a lot of players have mentioned that and kind of how that built your confidence. What did having a coach do that for you when you guys are sitting at 0-3? Uh, mean to you guys? I think that that just instilled a lot of confidence in us because hearing that from someone who has been to these national tournaments, which is the goal of ours this year, um, just made us feel like we are capable of playing these good teams. We're capable of competing well and taking sets and making good plays. And I think it just really made us feel like we belong here. We belong with this competition and we belong in the national tournament. One thing that's kind of gotten a little lost in the win streak is the fact that you guys are undefeated in conference play as well. 14-0, uh, there's only six conference matches to go in the regular season. And if you guys remember, the only other team in the WAC to ever do that was Lawrence Tech, and that was during your freshman season. Um, what would it mean to you guys uh, if you can get to that mark, match Lawrence Tech, and be the second team ever in the WAC to do that? I think that's a, another little goal that we have because our big goal is to go to nationals. But... Those little goals will get us to nationals, and I feel winning that conference undefeated is going to give us that confidence boost and make us want to play harder. And I feel like having this win streak makes us want to keep it and just keep playing harder each day. There's obviously four seniors on this team. Um, you two are two of them, and then Riley Walters and um, Kaylee Dykema have obviously been key pieces and really the success of your team. Um, with you two specifically being players that really have started from day one, what is, uh, as you come down to the end of your career here, what's like the lasting legacy that you say you would want to leave on this team? What do you want to leave going into um, the end of your career? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us that we've talked about is just playing with so much joy because we love this game so much and we take so much away from the sport. And I think people, when they watch us, they can just see how much we love it and how much we love each other and that we're playing for each other and just the smiles that are on our faces, I think is just really evident when you watch us play. And I think that we will leave that after we graduate and that will stay in the program for a long time. Awesome, thank you, Liv. If you guys are around, obviously women's volleyball takes on Northwestern Ohio and Indiana Tech this weekend, looking to tie that longest win streak since 1999.